Okay, so as I said in the last video, now it's time to save extra data about the user to be displayed in here. So let's get started. For that, we need to use the Firebase Firestore. So first, I will explain how does it work, then we can implement its code. So let's go to the Firebase console and open this tab. And in here, you can create a database. Press on this button in here. And we can start in test mode. Hit next. And in here, you can choose the location. I will just keep it like this. It's fine. You can change it if you want. Say enable in here and wait till it finish. It may take a few times depending on your net connection. So wait till it finish. Okay, so once the process is done, this page will be displayed. Now we need to understand what Firestore is. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is that the Firestore is no SQL database, which is mean it's not a relational database and the work with it is different than a relational database. And if you want full knowledge uh, or full comparison between the relational and not relational databases, I will make a video in the future comparing them and explaining the difference. Or you can just Google it. So we need now to understand how does it work. So the Firestore constitute of documents and collections. For example, in here we can start creating a collection so let's press this in here. In here, we can choose the collection ID, such as a name, for example. Let's say in here, users, for example. Hit next. Now we need to give it the document ID. I will just hit auto ID. And now in here, it's another collection below the document ID. So it is constitute of collection, then document, then collection, then document, then collection, then document, and you can do as much as you want. Okay, for example, we can add a string in here, or you can specify another type, and you can add many fields. So the, the document can have only one field, while the collection can have multiple fields. For example, in here, we can add multiple fields. Let's say in here, a number, and give it value and say in here, for example, phone number. In here, for example, let's say string and let's name it email and say, for example, any email that or any string that we want. Hit save now. I'll fix this and hit save and I'll show you how it will appear. So here it is. Now the collection appeared in here under name of users and each user will have a unique ID later. And simply later we can use the user ID that's being created once the user register his account. It is managed all by the Firebase. And later on we will use something different to generate IDs for the products. And in here we can add multiple fields for this document. So under this document ID we can add multiple fields. For example, you can, as I said, choose anything that you want and add it. But now for sure we don't or we can't just enter all the user information manually. So we need to do it dynamically. So I explained this. So once we write the code, you will understand it way more better.